I've put together an interactive demo on a scope and signal generator that I think you might find useful and it's available at this website. I'm just going to quickly run through a demo of the simulation in action. So what we have here at the very top is the waveform that's being produced by the signal generator at its output. And we can change the shape of the waveform that's being produced by changing these buttons. So we have a square waveform, a triangular waveform and a sinusoidal waveform. And we can adjust things like the amplitude by changing this style. And we can see that the changes are being reflected in the waveform above. We have control over the DC offset as well. As well as fine tune control of the frequency using this dial. If you want more significant changes in frequency, you can use one of these buttons. What we're seeing on the oscilloscope's display is basically snapshots of the waveform that's being produced by the signal generator at regular time intervals. You can see that the scope's display is made up of a grid which has 10 horizontal boxes and 8 vertical boxes. And the resolution of these boxes is controlled using these dials. The moment the resolution or volts per division is set to 1 volt per division. And if we look at this waveform that's been produced, we can see that its amplitude is roughly about two boxes, which means that its amplitude is a roughly two volts, which we can also see up here. If I change the number of volts per division, it's like we're zooming out of the waveform. So we can see that the waveform now occupies one box, but it's two volts per division, so it's still a two volt waveform. can change the time resolution by changing this dial and we can see that it's set to 0.2 seconds. So we have 10 boxes at 0.2 seconds per box which means we're seeing 2 seconds of a waveform on the scope's display. If I change the dial to 0.1 seconds per division we now have 1 second of the waveform which we can see is the waveform that's been produced by the output of the signal generator. Now we can see that the waveform is kind of jumping all over the place, which means that it's not been triggered. So what I'm going to do now is trigger the waveform by adjusting this dial. And when the waveform is triggered, you can see that the waveform appears to be stationary. I'm just going to adjust the frequency because sometimes you lose the trigger if the frequency isn't high enough. But basically what happens when we're triggering is that we're still taking a snapshot of the waveform but we're imposing an additional constraint. We're making sure that the voltage reaches a particular level at a particular time. So the waveform will appear to be stationary. So what's happening is every time we take a snapshot of the waveform being produced by the signal generator, we're making sure that the voltage reaches a particular level. And that level is set by the trigger level dial, which is shown by this blue line. And we can see that every time a snapshot is taken, the waveform reaches this level at this time. So this arrow dictates the trigger time. So we're triggering on what's known as the falling edge. So we're going from a high voltage to a low voltage. We can change that edge by flicking this switch. So now I've changed it to switch on a rising edge. So now what's happening is, Every time we take a snapshot of the output of the signal generator, we're taking a snapshot such that the voltage reaches this level at this time on a rising edge. You can adjust the trigger level and basically what you're doing is every time you take a snapshot, you're ensuring that the voltage reaches uh, a lower level at a particular time. But the waveform just appears to be stationary. It isn't really. If I adjust the amplitude, we can see that the change in amplitude is reflected on the scope. Okay, that's the end of the demo. I hope you'd find the interactive simulation useful.